the Saturday wrap. The Saturday wrap for Saturday, the 14th of October, 2023. My look back on the week that was. The things, the goods, the bads, the politics, the music, the tech, and lots of weather. A watershed. Anyway, if you haven't seen this before, that's what it's all about. Uh, it is for week ending Saturday the 14th of October, although I am cheating. It is Friday the 13th. I am not superstitious. Um, and I'm back in bed where it is still raining. And we have a yellow weather warning for wind and rain, which only finishes at 8 o'clock tonight. And then from tomorrow onwards, sunny but much, much cooler with winds from the north. Proper autumn. Or if you're in America, the fall. Lots of leaves, um, you know. Anyway, I'm looking back on the week, the word or phrase of the week, and there is probably no other way to describe it but war. Last Saturday, I'm sitting in the John Wallace Linton and... The problem is the Brits have a lot of it on their hands. We promised both the Jews and the Palestinians the same piece of land, and they have been fighting over it ever since, and probably beforehand as well. And um, you can see both sides, but you can't go around just killing people. Uh, no. And I don't think it's going to end. And whatever happens, uh, it's going to escalate. And it's going to be sad. And there's not a great deal that we can do except stand on the sidelines and mop up. There you go. Anyway, I'm trying to be a little bit more cheerful. The app of the week. Um, if you're in the Apple ecosystem and you have more than one device and you want to transfer files like videos or pictures from one device to another, you have AirDrop, and it's wonderful. And there is something sort of like it on the PC and Android phones. I think it's called Nearby Share, but not always. Anyway, Edge Drop. If you have the Edge browser, say on your desktop and you have the edge browser on your phone whether it's ios or android or whatever you can do that sort of functionality and as long as you go bluetooth and wi-fi it works really really well and it has worked for me um so have a look to make sure you've got the latest version of edge on whatever platform you've got and give it a little try because you want the airdrop functionality to drop videos, to drop pictures, all of that sort of thing. Well, I do anyway. So that is my app of the week. Cross-platform. Well, yeah, sort of Android and Windows and such like. I expect it actually works with the Mac as well, because Edge and Linux Edge, you know, all that sort of thing. The thing of the week. The thing of the week is the Spoons Autumn Real Ale Festival. So far, I have had three pints, and so far, they've all been B++. Pluses. There is something about Cascale, the very gentle carbonation, and the lack of big bubbles and such like, and the taste, although... Quite often, it's been on for too long and it's gone over and you think, well, why am I paying for this? But these were all fresh on and they were really good. And with a bit of luck tomorrow, buses running, which is easier said than done, and the trains working well, well, even if the weather wasn't a bit still raining, um, they're not very good at running. I I'm going to try Cardiff because there are numerous weather spoons there and I should be able to get a good selection. Probably go on the halves, uh, working on the basis of quantity, not quality. Although, having said that, it could be quantity and quality. Uh, I like the Spoons Autumn Beer Festival. I like the spring one as well, but autumn, something about it. Music. Okay, 
I've done this before. Um, it is also on Spotify. It is also on Apple Music, which my free trial runs out on the 3rd of November. Thank you, Barclay Card. Um, Cherry on Top by Ainsley Costello. Ah. Go to wavelake.com, W-A-V-L-A-K-E.com, and um, give it a couple of sats. It is pure pop for now, people. If you're old, you remember that phrase. It's great. Anyway, okay, so let's look back on the week. Last Saturday, yeah, check Twitter, make sure your bus is running, because you are going to Tiny Rebels October 1st Hog Roast. Nothing about Philly buses or buses going to Newport or whatever. Get to the bus stop. Check the app. It's on time. Guess what? It never arrives. Thank you, Stagecoach. And thank you, the people who give the money to Stagecoach and my taxes and don't check out whether they actually run the buses or not. You see what I'm worried about tomorrow. Doubly, you know. Anyway, um, the tiny rebel hog roast. Turns out... We're also playing rugby at the same time. Uh, the hog smelt lovely. Sorry about that, all you vegetarians and vegans. I was sitting in the corner with my stein, and there were, well, there was a new, it wasn't a fest beer per se, but it was fest like. And they had uh, the big steins, and someone managed to smash a stein. Oh, great. Anyway, I ended up with pulled pork, sage and onion stuffing, and chips. Although I'm not altogether sure it came off the hog. I think it was still cocking. However, it was wonderful. And I got a little bit tiddly. Could have fallen asleep on the bus coming back, to be perfectly honest. But, you know, things. Sunday. Sunday was... Sunday was summer. It really was. Um, mowed the lawn. Just You know, when I said this will be the last lawn mowing thing of the year? But it wasn't. I think it was last Sunday. And planted even more summer onions i've only got one pot left to do now and i'm thinking that might be this sunday because the weather forecast is looking good right okay what else happened uh ooh, mowing the lawn ah right this started on sunday afternoon and by monday morning uh, the overflow from the toilet was i wouldn't say going a plenty but it was certainly going and i'm on a water meter so I checked out B&Q online, and then I checked out Screwfix, and I went to work to see if I could get a half day, which I could, and ordered some stuff from Screwfix, only £11 worth, plus a charitable donation as well. I've never been to Screwfix before, top cashback, very good. Um, my equipment and stuff was there as soon as I went in, it took me about 30 seconds, that was good, got home. Well, for about three quarters of an hour, I thought I wasn't going to be able to do it because I couldn't get the old one off. Um, it was the ball cock and such like. And then I did it. It came off and I put the new one on and it's fine. It's actually working fine. I have plumbed. I hate plumbing, to be perfectly honest. Everything corrodes and you can't get it off and all that sort of stuff and i don't like it however thank you to screw fix um yeah so i checked all through monday I checked tuesday morning it is still working which is you know good mind you tuesday the first day of prime day always check to see what's going on have a look at camel 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 which is a tracking site for amazon Anyway, um, I have some Oral-B electric toothbrushes, nickel metal hydride batteries. They don't last that long anyway, and they've both seen better days. Um, and £5 off a rather new and cheaper Oral-B lithium-ion battery electric toothbrush, which came on Wednesday night at about 10 past nine. Thank you very much to the drivers. You are heroes. Heroes Plus, actually, but there you go. Righty who? Righty who? Ah, uh, yeah, Tuesday. Since I mowed the lawn, there was some moss on it. 
um, probably where I hang the stuff out to dry and it dries during the day and it gets wet and whatever. So I put the last of my seaweed, weed and feed and moss killer on it. And the moss is turning black and going, which I'm very impressed with. Uh, and the grass is now looking greener as well, which will get it ready for the winter. I probably need mowing once again. There you are. Uh, Tuesday was also patched Tuesday if you have a Windows machine lots of big patches some zero days which translates us you need to do this now don't go online uh, without doing it to be honest um, Wednesday Spoons Beer Festival they only had two on the start and then on Thursday they had three and then Friday they had a different three and they're all very good and I have the tasting notes as well all B++ is which is a bit of a thing for me. Usually the B plus and the bit, or maybe just B plus. Quality, I'm going to say. Uh, right, Thursday. Thursday was the second day of the weather spoons beef. It was a slow week, although it disappeared. Um, and Friday, I went over spoons with Gary. And on the bar, it said, because I was going to have a five ounce gammon steak, it said 10 ounce gammon steak and a pint for 10.91, which is usually the price of a five ounce one. So we pointed, and Kelsey said, Oh, is that still up there? Should have been taken down yesterday. However, we both had them for the manager's special price. There's some great staff in the tumble. And especially the one who did the huge spider on the stairs going to the toilet. It is massive and it is really good and they're all very friendly and the beer is fine. And that was my week. The week when it started off like summer, uh, had a yellow wind warning and into the weekend, cold and sunny and the autumn watershed. How are we doing? Ooh, quite a lot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the usual comments. Um, yeah, bye bye.